Good afternoon, I'm Carrie Bueller, Superintendent of Summit School District, and we're here for a very special occasion at Summit Middle School. And I'm sharing um, the stage here with Paul Haig from the Optimist Program, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about why we're here to celebrate some special students. Thank you, Carrie. The Summit Lake Dillon Optimist Club is a local service club. Our motto is friend of youth, so we do a bunch of things in the community for the youth in the county. Uh, shortly after the first of the year, we'll be starting a third through fifth grade uh, basketball program in the elementary schools. We have chess clubs in all the elementary schools. Uh, in the spring, we'll do a fifth grade girls volleyball program. Um, and we do an essay contest. We do an oratorical contest. We send some kids to a brain bowl in Denver. Um, so our, mo our theme is to do things for kids and some of the things we do, and one of the favorite things we do, is to recognize some of the special kids in our community. Um, and today, as part of the um, Summit School District Baccalaureate Program, uh, they encourage students to do some community service work. And so what we're going to hear today is about a number of students and what they've done in our community. You know, we live in this great community, or village, and what I always say, you know, or what the saying is, it takes a village to raise a child, but here we are after the child is getting older, and now they are helping build our community. So it's a great uh, trade-off. So we'll get started here and hear what these kids have done to help build our community. Um, I'm here, I'm Mrs. Bueller, I'm the Superintendent of Schools, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some wonderful work that you've been doing in our community. I know that you are an IB student, and one of the things that we have in our IB program is that kids go out and they choose projects or things that they know that will serve our community and make things better. So I'd like to hear a little bit about um, what you did with the Dillon Valley Carnival. So um, my brother went, is going to Dillon Valley right now. I didn't go. But um, I heard that they were having a Halloween festival, and so I said, I want to volunteer, because a bunch of my friends were going to volunteer, and so I did. So tell me, when you were at Dillon Valley, lots of kids, I bet, lots of families, yes. probably a few dogs. Um, tell me about the carnival and what it is that you helped them to do. So the carnival had a haunted house. Um, they had games. Um, they had pizza, food, and candy, of course. And so... We would have 30-minute shifts, and I worked on the games, kitchen, everything except the haunted house. So tell me a little bit about why you think helping out for, with something like this helps our community. I think it helps our community because some parents don't have time to, like, volunteer at, like, kids' festivals. Like, they might have time to volunteer for, like, something for, like, I don't know, like, to fight disease or something, like a walk or... But um, I don't think they have time, and so having middle school kids is good for them. I agree, and I'll bet that the little kids that are at the elementary school really like seeing middle school children. They can look up to you. You can set a good example. That's wonderful. Anything else you'd like to tell us about what you'd like to do in the community or what you hope to do in the future? Uh, I hope to, in the future, work on some trails and, yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. This is for you. Thank you, Mia. Congratulations. We're here now to celebrate our seventh graders at Summit Middle School for the wonderful contributions they've been making in their community. And let's start with you, Mimi. I understand you've been doing um, a project around a school in Honduras. Tell us about that. Um, so every year, the there's this program at the Summit High School called Summit in Honduras, mm -hmm. and we fundraised, and um, Spanish students go to Honduras to help with problems there. Mm -hmm. um, and the past two years, I went and we helped um, build some schools. We helped, like, work at schools, and one year there was a teacher that didn't show up for 
two weeks, so we had to like sub in for her. Um, and we've also like um, installed water filters, worked at some orphanages, things like that. <laughs> Goodness. So Mimi, when you think about that, so that work you're doing in Honduras, how do you think that that um, really also gives back to our community here in Summit County? Um, I think that it really gives a good reputation that Summit cares and that Summit like knows that there are problems and we want to help. I think lots of people refer to Summit as this bubble. Hmm. And um, I think that with them in Honduras, we can really expand that bubble and just kind of make it so that our community knows more and has the opportunity to help more. So what are some things you think you'd like to do in the future, either in Honduras or in Summit County or somewhere else in the world? Um, I definitely want to keep volunteering um, all over, maybe go to different countries and do this, and then also there's all there's stuff happening here in Summit County, so I think maybe we could focus on that too. I think that's wonderful. That's we always have to look within ourselves and around us and then beyond us, right? Yeah. Thank you, Mimi. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Yay. Now we'd like to hear a little bit from Gianna Colosimo and hear a little bit about what you've been doing with the library. I'm really interested in this because I love books. So I've been helping out with the Breckenridge Library because they have lost some staff recently and I wanted to help. And so what I've been doing is every Wednesday there is this after school activity for anyone, like any elementary school kids. And so every other week they do something with Legos. Every other week they do something like festive or like just fun. Mm -hmm. um, so I help out with them and I try to get more people to come and join. And then every Wednesday after I help out with that, there's this thing called Tab. It's teen something something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we figure out how to make the library a better place, um, more fun. Like, we help decorate, like, snacks and that mm. kind of stuff. So I was just thinking this made me think that, so you're kind of fulfilling two roles. You're mentoring maybe some younger students from the elementary school that come after school, which lots of our kids, we know we need programs for them to um, be safe and productive after school and learning still. But also this kind of um, advisory role or almost like you're a consultant to make the library a, a better place for kids. What are some of the ideas that you guys have for making the library a great place for kids? Um, so... What we've done in the past, it was actually last year, we thought of this idea to for the junior room, so like third to fifth grade, um, to put this like tree house kind of thing inside of it. It's like a play house kind of thing, so like they can go on that, but then they can still like get to work like um, on the computers. Um, we also like, we made, a choice for like in the teen room and then in the junior room the juniors cannot come into the teen room because it's very distracting like to us because <laughs> they can get a little annoying oh, yeah, I know about that. so what if kids wanted to be part of this um, how would they know about it how would they join up what would they do so in this teen room we have like applications and like or not applications mm -hmm. and like things like sign up for like mm -hmm. We normally just like hang a piece of paper outside the door, and so whenever like a teen comes into the room or to do homework or something, like they see it and they're like, "Oh my God, I want to help out with the library too." Great, sounds wonderful. Good for you, Gianna. This is for you. Congratulations. I'm here with our Summit Middle School 8th graders to talk a little bit about the wonderful projects that they've been doing in and out of their school. Um, I think we'll start with Sophia. Tell us, this is Sophia, Sophia Lytle. Sophia, tell us a little bit about the Adopt-A-Trail program. Um, so recently my family um, adopted uh, two parts of a trail, which is like a bike path. Mm -hmm. And it's our responsibility, at least like once a month in the summer, to go to the trail, clean up trash, sweep the pavement so there's no rocks or mud. 
Oh, I'm very interested about which part of the trails this is. This is probably where I want to go. Um, so we have one part of our trail is in Keystone and the other is by the entrance of Summit Cove. How did you get interested in, in adopting a trail? What sparked that? Well, so my dad was the one who first adopted the trail and then he told us about it. And so then as a family, we would go and clean up the trails over the summer. So, Sophia, I know that there's some other things that you've been involved in and interested in and helping in our community. Do you want to talk briefly about those? Sure. So, one of the things I do is student council. We meet every Wednesday and we help make the student council, well, we help make the Summit Middle School nice and clean and we do fundraisers for many different things. Right now we are currently doing Socktober where we sell socks and raise money and give it to this program called LAPS which is helping get um, helping people who don't have enough money and live in bad situations get um, pets. I love my socks that I got last year. I think I need another order form, so I'll have to get that from you. Um, I was thinking about student council. So next year when you go to ninth grade, there's the opportunity for leadership. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we know in our community is that um, young leaders, um, young um, optimist leaders that are all around this room really do make a difference in our community. If you were going to give some advice to um, kids coming up through sixth and seventh grade to get involved in student council, um, what message would you tell them? Um, you should most definitely do it. It's very fun. Um, you learn a lot about things you didn't even think of and you just help make the school a better place and you can put in your own input and you have a voice to decide what you want the school to be like. I love that. It is important for all kids to have a voice. Congratulations, Sophia. Now we're going to switch over to Kaylin Love and we're going to talk a little bit about, um, it looks like uh, quite a few things. You've been doing some things with SOS, with VBS, with the DV Community Garden. Um, tell us about what you've been up to. Um, so I do a lot of community service each year. Um, every summer at the end of the school year, right after school gets out, um, there is a program at our church called VBS. and. Um, uh, hundreds of kids come and we um, are what norm we have like we're their crew leaders um, so we're kind of in charge of them for the day and um, all week um, so our job is to um, uh, take them from we have multiple stations so we uh, take them from station to station um, we uh, are there if they need help uh, we teach them about our faith and yeah um, we I also do uh, um, Girl Scouts and um, recently we've been working on the community garden and um, uh, so we're, we um, have um, been setting wood chips, been filling um, boxes with dirt for um, planting things, we water the plants. Um, we uh, recently built a table with a checkers board on it. So, <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Um, we, I also do um, SOS each year. And um, part of SOS is that you can um, do community service with them. Mm -hmm. um, I did some trail work on a trail um, once. Uh, we, uh, there had been a little bit of a ditch that um, got all clogged up with water and so, the trail was changing course, which um, that's not very nice because all the nature starts getting a little bit more eroded when that happens. So we um, fixed that little ditch back up and um, filled it in and then made the trail go back to its normal way. Wonderful. So Caitlin, you're involved in a lot of things. If you were going to give some advice to other kids who think, wow, I've got, you know, schoolwork and family things, and how do you make time for all this? Well, how, how could kids do that? Um, I think part of it is just learning how to balance your time between school time, family time, friend time. Um, uh, you have to find, you have to be looking to get involved because, um, a lot of times if you're just, oh, I want to do community service, and you're never looking for any ways to do community service, then um, you're most likely not going to find much community service. So I think part of that is looking for it um, and then planning ahead, too, um, so you know, oh, okay, I'm doing community service this week, this day. Um, I need to be open. I can't go to my friend's house. So, yeah. 
Boy, very grown up thoughts about being balanced. We could all learn from that. Congratulations to you, Kaylin. Thank you for all that you do. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Oh, let's clap. <laughs> Congratulations to all of these students for the many, many wonderful things that they do in our community. And I'm inspired. I'm sure that you are too. And um, please support the Optimist Club and all the things they do. They are all things kids, and there just couldn't be anything better to support. Thank you.